This is what I want. I'll tell y'all what. I'll tell y'all this. I want everybody to get a goddamn cease and desist order because I'm going to get you one. You want that letterhead? Bet. my research okay with them and i was seeing inconsistencies so going back to what i was going to say how the fuck is you going to come up here and even start to commentate about a situation when you don't even know the history and won't even take the time to do any type of research i guess research is a big thing for og cries she's a bit confused so i'm going to explain it in clear terms for her my channel is not a tea page it's a reaction channel tea pages take a deep dive and they do their research as for reaction channels we react. We watch a video and in real time, we express our reaction, our opinions, our thoughts. But since research is such a big thing for her, I went ahead and did my research. I looked and I looked and I did a deep dive. One thing about me is I always win. I'm gonna tell you that shit right now. In anything in life. This woman says she always wins, but yet she just continues to lose. And after all the research I did, my research tells me that OG cries is a loser. Anybody could send a cease and desist. Anybody. You could sit at home and write up your own fucking words, whatever you want to say, you could send it. It wasn't a legal document, so that's why I did not have legal letterhead on it, because it is not a legal document. That is correct. Anybody can do it. She did not have legal counsel to make that document legal. She wrote it herself, making it a non-binding letter. If she did decide to move forward with a legal lawsuit, she can still use that cease and desist letter as evidence of her trying to stop them from talking about her. But girl, could you have at least made that letter more professional? I mean, come on. King's Corner read it to us and it was so embarrassing. I see that the cease and order that we sent, apparently they don't give two fucks about, right? Right. So, okay. So these people, it's like this right here. I mean, it's like, you know, I don't like to be fucked with. And it's like, it's like, I'm not mad. I'm just annoyed. You understand what I'm saying? It's just annoying as fuck. They're so fucking annoying. All right, y'all. Let's make things clear. If you guys are new to my channel, catch up, please. All I'm going to say is this. For the past five years, more so four years because I did take a year break. I've reacted to many videos all those years. Lots of YouTubers, lots of content creators, lots of influencers. And in those years, there was only one person that threatened in submitting a copyright strike. And do y'all remember Easy Natalie? Does that ring a bell? The only reason you're making money is because I decided not to claim your little couple hundred viewed videos. I find it very interesting that you capitalized I decided. I know you know this, but some of the viewers might not know. I have the right to do what I'm doing under the Fair Use Act. Let YouTube creators explain. In the US, content that might be considered fair use includes commentary, criticism, or news reporting. But if you decide to use content ID and claim my video, you have that right to do so. But I can also fight it if I choose to. So no, it is not your decision. It's not even YouTube's decision. So if you were to claim my video and I take you to court, it's actually up to the judge. YouTube creators, explain please. What is fair use? Fair use allows you to reuse copyright protected material under certain circumstances without getting permission from the copyright owner. Fair use is an exception to copyright law and is not determined by YouTube. Let me say that again. YouTube does not decide what is fair use and what isn't. Only the court can do that. Why are you on YouTube vlogging your life, but then getting your fucking feelings? You post the shit. You, you upload it and everything, but then getting your feelings when somebody has an opinion. That's what I said. You make all your information public, girl. Your whole life about your children, about your ex, about your transition from femme to masculine. Your brother's business. I mean, it's all out there. Don't be afraid of some opinions. You get it now, right? I don't mind anybody reacting to me. I never have. But yet, you decided to submit a copyright strike towards Bliss Uncensored. Oh, girl, you don't fucked up. Yes, girl, I got that letter from YouTube letting me know about your submission and they were forced to take down my videos. 
It was two videos that she claimed. Those videos were OG cries gets vulnerable and admits to her lies and OG cries kicked out of the LGBTQIA plus community, Bliss responds. See, when a content creator submits a copyright strike, it's not done there. I have the opportunity to send a counter notification. So in that letter, they sent me a link to do so. No, I don't wanna do it like that. I'm going to send a direct email to YouTube. I made a statement for OG Christ to read and I made a statement for YouTube. And I also let them know that yes, I understand that me sending out this counter notification is giving her the opportunity to take me to court and that I am ready for it if need be. But YouTube has to first look into it and see if I even have grounds to defend myself. So while they are reviewing the videos, just a couple days later, they send me this email. They process the review and they think I have grounds to defend myself. So they forward my email to OG Cries, which I knew was going to happen. I was informed of that. And YouTube gave her 10 business days to file a lawsuit. And if not, my videos are going to be back up. Well, guess what happened? After 10 business days, my videos were restored back onto my YouTube channel. Oh, Jesus. The thing about me is I always win. I'm going to tell you that shit right now. That was so easy. <laughs> the girl never took legal action because she knew I was right. YouTube knew I was right. But if she did take me to court, I have no problem getting my attorney involved, like I said. She lost with the cease and desists and she lost with my copyright strike. That copyright strike was deleted off my channel. In five years, I have not ever received a copyright strike. It's for good reason. Oh, OG cries, you know, I'm starting to feel a little bad for you. You know, I don't wanna make these videos about you. We've all moved on. It was about a month or two that everyone has stopped talking about you and that's including me and you decided to do this? For what? Why would you embarrass yourself like that? Now, I'm talking to my viewers. She is a black lesbian woman and the things she has said, it's apparent that this woman hates herself. She attacked black women content creators. Oh, y'all don't believe me. Nick and Carla exposed her. And everybody that follows Nick and Carla, Lily, uh, B, Sweet Ma, King and Corner, all of y'all have the same fucked up ass energy. Nick's ass is a whole fucking supposed to be stud and she's sitting up there gossiping. Why don't y'all go get some Why don't you go slide on some get your ate? Why don't that nigga go fuck Carla's uh, uh, ape looking Ass. She's been like this her whole life. She even did it to her own brother, okay? This is what her brother said in one of the articles that he was interviewed in. He said, my sister and I would sometimes argue, and after learning that I was gay, when she got really angry, she'd call me a f Every time she'd say it, it would really hurt. I mean, we've all said things we regret, right, in our past? And she apologized to him. But that apology doesn't mean shit because just months ago, she attacked our community. She's a masculine presenting woman. A stud. Yeah, she's over here attacking other masculine presenting women on how they should act, how they should behave. She has not learned. She cornered, she's supposed to be a stud, right? I mean, I'm sorry. Hey, look, I'm just, she's just giving very, very, very much film. Like right now, she's reminding me of, of um, my ex. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, bro. Oh, she wasn't done, no. She attacked black women. She attacked masculine presenting women and she also attacked sexuality in our community. So I ain't wanna go here, but fuck it, I'm gonna go here. You need to be focused. So ain't you getting divorced or something like that? Why? Cause you won't fuck your wife, huh? Right, you made a whole video talking about that, right? And I'm not making fun of anybody who's asexual. What I'm saying is if you asexual, don't you think you need to put somebody on before you marry them? My point is this. If you are in the LGBTQIA plus community, this is not a person that you want to entertain. This is not a person that you should support. You can by all means do so, but this is the type of person you will be supporting. And it's not just the derogatory statements that she makes. It's not about the offensive stuff that she says, no. She be making no sense, y'all. Okay? She be making no sense. Let me give you an example. Ain't none of them tough. Ain't none of them would say this to my face, face to face, straight up. None of them. Yeah, at one time I looked like a femme, 
and I may have taken a picture that, you know, trying to do something, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my God, but I tell you what, I tell you what. <laughs> I would whoop your ass. <laughs> Fuck out of here. I would have dressed. Didn't matter what the fuck I had on. I would fuck your ass up. What I'm trying to say is this right here. Is that I have never ever changed. I've always been the fucking same. Well, I've changed. You know, I, I've changed a little bit. Now I've changed. Oh, I've gone. I have. I have changed a little bit. You know, but I've always been the same from like real talk. Her channel she is full of hypocrisy, contradiction, and ignorance. That's all it is. You will gain nothing from watching her. Ah, oh, boy. One thing about me is I always win. I'm gonna tell you that shit right now. Okay, okay, okay. Let's, let's not talk about you being a winner because all I've heard on your channel and your videos is the successes and the wins of your brother okay <laughs> all i see on your community page is what others are doing and their success stories and all the countries that your brother has been to and all the celebrities that he has met and taken pictures with but i never hear about you and your success stories and your wins you've had a long life and i want to know about your wins that you're speaking of your success stories. See, these celebrities that you keep talking about on your community page, I don't give a fuck. They're human. They bleed, eat, and shit the same way we do, okay? I've met celebrities too, okay? I was a hip-hop artist. I opened up for many hip-hop artists. Some of the bigger names at that time. It was back in the day. But they were my stories, my success stories, so I can talk on them. You know what I'm saying? And be proud of it. I'm glad you're proud about your brother. But your channel is about you. What is your wins? Because you just continue to show us all your losses. Let's talk about the people you've met. Not because you knew somebody who knew somebody. <laughs> okay. Girl, get your shit together. You know what I'm saying? Just get your shit together. We got more issues in the world to be talking about other than OG cries. Other than that, y'all, yeah, please subscribe to my channel. I hope you like this video and support real, true content creators that actually have something to say. See y'all in the next video. Peace.